In case you haven't seen my trick before, I'm going to show you what we do to these to make them last even longer. <laughs> she says, Mom, leave me alone. Little Miss is now 16 months old. You are. You are. You're such a big girl. <laughs> The sleepiest of babies. Always sleepy. I believe the order of videos going up, you sure already know this, but Little Miss got spayed. She is officially a fixed lady. And she's wearing this onesie, which is this big black thing that's on her so that she cannot get to her sutures. She, that's what she's wearing. And since she did just get spayed, she's still not able to go and do a lot of things, especially like high activity things. We actually just kind of got cleared to do some walkies. So we might go on a walk today, but it's been kind of sprinkling. But she has been doing so good, Kind of like sitting at home and having to be lazy for like a week. I know that it's killing her inside. We'll go back to play with friends soon, okay? I promise. So in today's pup date, we won't be taking a trip to the dog park. We're just doing a nice little stay at home pup date today, unless we can make it out on a walk today. If you have questions about her spay or anything like that, or what she's wearing or how we prepped for it, the recovery, there is a separate video either already out or about to come out after this video on Freya's channel. So you guys can look at that for like in-depth spay stuff. I wanted that to be separate, but this pup date just includes her spay since she's still recovering. Kitty? What are you doing? <laughs> She's already had her breakfast today because she is on some pain medication that she has to take like every 12 hours. So we're pretty structured on when we're able to feed her like breakfast and dinner. So that's kind of already out of the way, unfortunately. But since today is the first day that she's actually cleared to go on a walk, I do want to take her. It's been sprinkling, like I said, so we might catch a break here soon to kind of go on a walk to get her some sort of, you know, exercise. She just can't run. And since she can't like go to the dog park and like run and jump kind of thing, we definitely want to utilize the walks now that we're cleared. She'll be taking many a day. She usually gets her morning, that's like non-negotiable, and then usually her night as well, depending on what time like I have to go to bed and stuff because if I go to bed at seven because I work in the morning or something but she always gets her morning and then usually her night but for the next like week or so after her space she'll be getting like a morning noon and night walk because this girl's gonna need it so I do want to do that and then I'll kind of show you some of the things that we've been doing or like brain games or like how I'm keeping her somewhat stimulated or like what she's been doing inside honestly she has been doing so well in terms of just sleeping like I thought it was gonna be impossible for her but also she is recovering and I'm pretty sure some of the medications they give her make her tired so she is doing so well of just laying on the couch and sleeping she hasn't really had any like zoomies she's just chilling so i'm grateful that at least it's looking like she's doing fine being inside for this long so we just have like a week left or so before she can go back to like doggy daycare and like dog parks but we can start to be a little bit more active with her so we're definitely gonna go on a walk we're gonna go ahead and take her little onesie suit off so that way she can get some you know air going and just to hang out outside of course anytime she's inside she has to wear either her cone or like all the things and stuff so we're gonna take this off so we can go on a walk touch yes that's a good touch bubba's We're gonna use a brand new leash and collar set that we just got. Yeah, this is so pretty, huh? Look at you, so pretty. As soon as we left this little like spot, she was already running. So she is excited to be outside. Now I know that I usually always, always, always bring treats with me because I love to reinforce good behaviors and stuff like that. But literally today, I'm just going on a, a long walk so that she can do whatever she wants, sniff as much as possible, have fun. And I really am not worried about training. So that's why I'm not bringing any treats just with her spay and everything and being locked inside forever. <laughs> On a mission. <laughs> you can't get the birdie bugs. <laughs> I know, you just want to run. I know, I'm sorry.
We just got back from our walk and it was a good hour long. I listened to an entire podcast episode. If you're curious, I was listening to Pretty Basic. But yes, we went on an hour long walk. Freya had the best time of her life. Near the end, I could definitely tell she was getting like overstimulated or rather like frustrated that she couldn't run or like go do the things, if that makes sense. Like she had fun on the walk, but the last like 10 minutes, she was like, mom, I need to like go. But she's over here panning and she's tired and she's gonna pass out for a few hours, which is good. Say so, that was a good walk. I already had to put her back in her onesie so that way she wouldn't itch her sutures and everything. But it is good that we did that because she just needed some physical stimulation after these past couple days being locked up inside, but also some time out of her like onesie and out of everything. Cause of course when she's inside, she has to be in something. But now that we were outside, like she's not gonna sit down and like lick her sutures. Cause obviously I'm watching her. So I was able to take it off and she could just be a free little naked doggo again. <laughs> I mentioned this before we went on our walk, but we were using our brand new like leash and collar set. I just hauled it in like the dog haul video on this channel if you missed that. So this might be your first time seeing it, but probably not. It's from Cheerful Hound, which is a local business here in Columbus. I found them at a farmer's market one time and I've just been buying all of their stuff ever since. And I have like 16 of their things and I just cannot get enough of it. So that is from Cheerful Hound. I will link it down below if you're interested or whatever. Even though they are a local business here, they do have free shipping so you can get them anywhere. And what's really, really sweet, this is actually a new print that she just came out with in the spring. And because I've been buying so much of her stuff, and she sees me at the markets and everything. She actually sent these to Freya just because she loves seeing Freya and she wanted to see Freya in her new design. So she also gave us a code. I will put it down below so you guys can get some money off if you guys are interested. These are like the best collars, like leashes that I've used and I love supporting small businesses. So that's where this is from in case I'm gonna get questions. A little bit ago, I was doing the dishes and her little slow feeders just got cleaned. So I do need to refill these, but I can also do that and show you guys how we do them because this is something that we've been utilizing a ton recently especially with her not getting as much physical stimulation we really have to like jackpot a lot of the mental stimulation so she's still being enriched and like tired and not just bored all day so yeah these are things that we've been using because they're amazing but in case you haven't seen my trick before I'm gonna show you what we do to these to make them last even longer and just give you some quiet time and like completely enrich them so I'm gonna fill this up and walk you through it so we start with her food Bam, I'm gonna do the other one at the same time. In case you're curious, Freya eats Zignature limited ingredient food and she's currently on like the salmon and trout flavor. So that's what Freya eats. She eats about a cup and a half for each meal, but I just usually give her like a hefty scoop cause I we only have like a one cup measuring. So she eats like a cup and a half in the morning, cup and a half at night, treats throughout the day, dental treats at night, that kind of thing. So she is very much um, well fed, even though she is very slim. That's cause she's active. <laughs> The wonderful thing about this method, and you can also do this with like Kongs and topples and everything. Her Kongs are both dirty, so they need to be like washed tonight or else I would also fill those and show you how we do that. But we can do this West Paw in the same little way and just like show you guys how I kind of like prep that. So with this specifically, it doesn't fit her entire like kibble amount. So I usually, this is more of like a snack rather than a meal. And these are meals, if that makes sense. We have more ingredients. I really do these different like every time, but the base is the same. So the base is food. And then we're gonna fill it with just a little bit of hot water, probably like a cup and a half or two cups of hot water. I just eyeball it, but I don't want it completely covering it. You just want it to like soak in it kind of thing because you do want the water to soak into the kibble and hot water does the best for that. So I'm gonna do that. In each of these, I will add a squirt of the wild salmon oil from Holistic Pet Organics. There's definitely different brands and everything that you can do. I just do one little squirt over everything. It really helps with their coat. And then you can also do beef broth. Now this I usually use like a quarter of a cup. Again, kind of eyeballing it at this point now. And there are dog specific like beef broths and bone broths and stuff like that. We ran out, so I'm using like normal ones, if that makes sense. Perfect. And that's basically our base, like that's what the baseline of all of these little frozen slow feeders are. It's just food, water, salmon oil, and like beef broth or bone broth or something. Now you can spice them up by, I don't know what to call it, but I kind of call it like a doggy casserole because it's kind of like using up things that we have. And it's not like a bunch of stuff, but I just have so many, you know, treats. And usually for training, we use her normal kibble, but we still just buy a lot of treats because it's fun. We also use the Zooks minis for trainings as well, but all these little bags of treats 
treats that, you know, eventually we're probably not going to get through unless I like throw them in with dinner or you could throw them in with little snacks that you do. So sometimes I'll throw some pieces of specifically like the Kiwi Kitchen's fresh skin treats, which is just freeze dried fish skin and this lamb liver and kind of just put a couple pieces in there just to kind of spice it up. Again, everything is going to be like frozen in there. So I don't really care where I put it. Just a couple. And these come like big chips. So a lot of times these ones I'll like put in a spot that I can actually like stick down and then it'll freeze in there. Or this one's kind of big. So I'll break this one in half and put one on one side. And there we are. And you could throw all the other like treats in there too, but I'm going to save that for the West Paw. And then these just go in the freezer and they'll chill in there until we want to use them. And every time these things come out of the dishwasher, I try to go ahead and make them again because we've gotten into the habit of them just sitting around. And then when we need something, we're like, oh crap, like we never prepped it and it's not frozen now. So just every time it's clean, I will immediately restock them and like remake them. So that way they are ready whenever we want them to be. But before I do put them in the freezer, I'm just going to set them aside so that the hot water can soak them up a little bit more. And then we're going to make this one. But this is kind of what it looks like right now. So right now it is kind of still just sitting in water and you can see some of it is starting to soak up on the insides here, but I just want to give it time to kind of soak up and not be like a soup, if that makes sense. Now for the West Paw, this definitely is like a doggy casserole because I really do just throw everything in here. Sometimes I'll make this with Greek yogurt or peanut butter or both. I'll throw like blueberries in here, strawberries, like fresh fruit. If you want to put carrot pieces in here, anything like that. Right now we don't have any like fresh fruit or veggies. Uh, uh, uh. You get off the counter. She smells all this food up here. But we don't have any fresh veggies or fruit right now, so I am just gonna kind of make it a doggy casserole with all of like her own doggy things. And usually I kind of layer it, and I'll start with like just a little glazing of Greek yogurt in here and push it all down towards the bottom. And then I'll start to take some of the treats that I have and throw just a few in there. I also do this with her kibble if I want to just kind of like switch it up a little bit. Again, it doesn't fit like a whole cup of food, so I oftentimes have to kind of like supplement it, or again, this is mainly used as like a snack and I usually like these kind of like big treats and not like kibble sized treats because with the West Paul there's a hole here I honestly don't know why but if you get something big enough you can kind of like stick it and cover that hole so things aren't kind of like oozing out and you can still put like supplements and stuff and things like this there's also different sizes so I've been thinking about getting like a bigger size of this so that way I can kind of use it for meal time but once I filled it with whatever I want to fill it with I will kind of do a top small layer of whatever I'm using as my base whether that's like like, yeah, wet dog food, pumpkin, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, whatever you want to use. And that's literally it. Like, it's just a simple little thing that has a whole bunch of treats in there for her that once we freeze it, will take her a little bit to get out. And that's really all that it is. It's just enrichment, fun, and treats all in one. I'm gonna take some Zoops minis though and kind of like do-do-do on top top so that there's something kind of like sticking out for her. Bam, there we go. And this goes in the freezer. Oh my gosh! I totally forgot. On the main channel, a while ago, I went through the drive through to go get some Dairy Queen and I asked for a pup cup of whipped cream, but they gave me a pup cup of ice cream and I didn't want to give it to her all at once. It was like stacked. Like it was like three scoops of ice cream and I forgot I had it. I feel like I should give that to her because she's literally begging because I have all of her treats out right now and she's like, what the hell, mom? I think I'll give that to her. You need some ice cream? Can you go to your bed? That's your place. Your bed. There we go. That's it. Just your booty on the bed. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. That's yummy, huh? We get some frozen ice cream. Here you go. Here's what they're starting to look like already. Less soupy. It's really soaking up. Even like the freeze dried like fish skins are starting to soak up all the water. These are gonna go into the freezer and we'll be able to use these for like hour plus long enrichments and meal time. You ready, cuddle little miss? Almost time for bed. Little Miss just got taken outside to go potty and I'm getting some of her pain medication ready because it helped her sleep at night. I do have to kind of like wrap it in cheese though. Some pills that Freya takes, you know, she'll take fine, but this one for whatever reason, she definitely like can taste it or something because she won't eat it um, as is where some of the other pills that she does have, she'll just eat it and it doesn't really matter and I don't have to wrap it or anything. But I do wrap this one in some cheese or peanut butter or something, but cheese will do for tonight. Bye-bye. What?
You want a sticky side? Oh, what is the tiniest of sticks? It's like a little cigar. <laughs> well, before you have this, I got this for you. Did you go to your bed? Good girl. Here you go. That's some good cheese, huh? <laughs> Do you even taste it? I know. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Use your stick. <laughs> but it is 10 o'clock at night, so it is time for bed. You ready for bed, little miss? Come on. Let's go bed. <laughs> up, up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's time for bed. Oh, there we go. There it is. Oh, the stretchiest of babies. <laughs> Gotta get in the undershirts. <laughs> Give the good scratches. <laughs> <laughs>